Now I am going to teach you ribbon murukku, which is like a shape of a ribbon. That's why it's called as ribbon murukku. Some places they call it as ribbon pakoda also. Let me show the ingredients for that now. Raw rice flour, 2 cups. Bengal gram dal flour, half cup. Roasted Bengal gram dal flour, that is chutney dal powder, that's half cup. Salt around 1 level teaspoon. Red chilli powder, around 3 4 teaspoon. Sesame seeds, very little. So this is the disc which we use to make this ribbon mur. Take the rice flour. This is raw rice flour, it is not processed. Bengal gram dal flour. Chutney dal powder. Salt. Red chilli powder. This is according to your taste. If you want, you can use little asafoetida for this, which will be tasty. And sesame seeds. First, mix all these things together. Pour little hot oil around for uh, 2 cups, you need half a ladle. Here I have taken half. First, mix it well because it's very hot. Afterwards, you can add water. When you are able to touch the flour with your hands, blend this oil properly with the flour. There shouldn't be any oil which is like a drop droplet inside. Because when you are adding water, when the oil is trapped inside, it might burst sometime. And uh, though if you are mixing more batter, don't add water to all the batter together. So you have to divide it like this and each time before squeezing into the oil, you have to sprinkle water and knead it. No need to uh, over knead like a chapati flour. It has to hold it to a shape, that's all. So it should be of this consistency like this. It should hold together and it shouldn't break. You make it into a oblong, this thing like this before putting it in this. So I have greased this with little oil. That slit disc is there inside and put it inside. Use this and directly squeeze this in the oil. Always whenever you are using oil like this, if you are using any other oil that is especially when the oil is having some other ingredients which is not refined properly, it might bubble up more where you won't be able to see, it won't be visible at all. At that time you can add very tiny piece of tamarind so that it will clear it up, it will clear up. When it turns golden like this, you can take it out. Depending upon the chilli powder, the quantity which you have used, this color will be there. But when the spluttering sound stops, you can remove it. Ribbon murku is ready to serve. Before packing it in a container, you have to allow that to attain room temperature and then only you can pack it. You can crumble it into layer, small medium sized pieces and then pack it. It can be stored for an, a month also. It will be tasty when you do it properly with the proper oil. Wish you all a very very happy Diwali and safe Diwali also.